I'm Kelly Gray. I'm a full-time artist and I run the Get Mercy art community. I'm also insanely productive and organized and this kind of stuff makes me super excited. When I met Notion, I was in a low point with Evernote and Notion came to the rescue. I still have Evernote for some things. I'm still a premium sub- premium user there. Uh, but yeah, Notion has my heart and I feel like Notion was geared just for artists. So I'm going to give you a tour of my, my Notion space and the ways in which I use it because I'm an artist and the ways that I use it despite the fact that I am an artist. Just like everyone else, I have a dashboard. This is my dashboard. I have four areas for my workspace and they go according to my homeboy, not my homeboy, don't know him at all, <laughs> but Tiago for Tiago Forte's Paris system. Projects, area, resources, and archive. I enjoy the system. This is not the system that I've been using for the longest time. I've been using it for about six months. Before that, I had a solid, solid system. And I've kind of merged the two, and I feel like but having projects, areas, resources, archive, has maybe much more productive and a much better business owner. So I guess we start with my dashboard. As you can see, everything is super color coded. I've been doing that since I was in high school and I'm not going to stop because it's my favorite. And this way I get to remove any colors that I don't like because I've got a lot of colors that I don't like. My dashboard is black, Black blackish, obviously, because it's neutral, right? On my dashboard, I have my dashboard, the word dashboard. I've also got a little quote that I'm really feeling at the moment. And I'm feeling it because I just moved into a new office space and I feel like my work is not my own. And so I read this a few days ago and I love it. I love everything that I'm reading from him. That is not applicable to Notion though. In this, I have my vision for vision board for the year. I don't usually do this, but I decided this year I'm going to be fancy. I also have a picture of my new space because I am obsessed with my new space and it's making me very happy. The other things I have on my dashboard, very quickly, I have very important work things here. I've deleted my VAT number because for some reason I have to use it basically on a daily basis and I can never remember it. Also cannot remember this full word I'm not native German, but I do have a German business. And so every time I write my company's name on formal forms, it includes this fantastic word, Haftungsbeschränkt. If you're a German, please don't judge my judge my pronunciation, still learning. It's got the address for copying and pasting. And then I have two things I'm currently working on. And these link to something in projects, obviously. Also have a link to the back end of the website and my tasks. Now I actually spent some time, you can see at the top here I've got all my shortcuts. I spent some time without any of these and I thought that it made me more productive, you know, because I can go in there very deliberately and intentionally, but it did not make me more productive. And so they are back up there. Basically the back end is this one and my tasks is everything here in ClickUp. I could delete that. I don't, I mean, I don't really need that anymore. There we go. Gone. This will take me to my, my work dashboard. This will take me to my weekly check-in template and my inbox. These are clearly the ones that I use the most. And my, my work is ingrained, ingrained. My work is like revolves around my creativity because I am a full-time artist, because I make a living out of my art but obviously I still make art for me. And so you'll be seeing both here. Right. So let's go into my inbox. Now my inbox is where I just paste everything that I need to. Mm. I have what I call a silver rerum, which is also a commonplace book that I keep on my person, it's 3D, it's real life, it's not digital. Uh, although I have a digital one as well, I I go a bit crazy. But my silver room is my creative commonplace notebook. And that's where I put everything that inspires me. I hate that word. 
but everything that I want to act on, all the inspiration I want to act on, and just what's happening in life at the moment. And so I just paste everything here, and then when I'm creating, I can add it into my silver realm. So you can see this page is kind of full at the moment. I usually process it quite often, but yeah, it's kind of it's kind of busy. I'm going to tell you how I use my inbox. I use my inbox, yeah, completely strangely. Over there, it's a little image that I fell in love with. As you can see, he has a beautifully taken, in shot, clear photo of my Google Home screen. My Google Home, yeah. And somehow I managed to still read that and figure out what that was. And I saved it as this image. Um, yeah, I can, you know, once I've gone through, once I've processed the source, the inspiration, I can delete it. I did, however, keep that one. Maybe because I knew that I was going to make this video. Yeah, I also keep screenshots. This is a screenshot from Brandy Kincaid and it is an Instagram story. I ended up making a page with that. This is the page that I made with that inspiration. So, you know, inbox definitely turns into art 99% of the time for me. I think that's important. Although obviously there are ways that, that it just totally doesn't. Right, I've also got this great picture, which is currently my life at the moment, which is just buying these ridiculously expensive baby plants, which they're called really just clippings of plants. They really should not be as expensive as they are, but somehow I managed to get that into my head and I've got a whole bunch of them. Right, I have a little flyer here. This is the creative incubator that I'm a part of and I've put it there because I received it and I wanted to delete the email. Also some Kita post from my son's new kindergarten. This from a trailer that my husband was watching on the computer next to me. Ideas for cabinets. There we go. They're the baby plants cart. Um, a quote that I read. Uh, an article by Tiago, my homeboy, who I don't know at all. But I, I love what he does enough. <laughs> And then this is a picture from a book. And I think this one is from Profit First. All right. So that's how everything gets put in. It just kind of gets put in. No rhyme or reason. Just paste it. And once I've used it, I'll take it away. So you saw I used that one. So I might take it away. Some people might archive it. But, you know, ideas, they're nothing unless they turn into art. And then once they turn into art, you can delete the idea. No problem. I have a resonance calendar here. It comes from... Ali on YouTube and I don't use it at all but I did start and there we go here's my silver room and this just has a whole bunch more stuff so I could actually add things so the, I mean this quote I'll probably add there as well as this and then I'll just move it into nope not there I would just move it into here um, I think you can actually even do it this way, which is a much better way. And this. So these are kind of all the things I need to do. I really do not need that. <laughs> if they become bigger, then they'll get their own page, like this ideas for cabinets, which just got completely out of hand. <laughs> and that's its own page. But the idea of everything in the inbox is it doesn't stay here. It moves into something. It either becomes a project. So, for example, these cabinets. Um, I was looking for cabinet. I'm not going to buy one anymore. I managed to find a vintage one. So I could either put that into archive or somewhere else. But I'm not going to do that now. That's what my inbox is. These things do not stay here. They continue. If, for example, this picture, which I really like, and I think I'm going to print it out, Notion can you can go in there you can go into view original and then I can see the full size a um, little bit a little bit big and then I would save it and print it and once I've done that I'll go through I think I'm going to add this into my current art journal my projects page a little pretty and pink because yeah pink's my favorite as you can see this is not organized at all and I kind of like it this way because this is kind of an extended inbox, right? I want to go through all these things and then I want to process it. 
So you can see there, there's a whole mixture of things. I'm currently selling a few vintage books that I've found. So I've got all the information there. This is a work project. This is actually complete. It could go into archive. This is the Tiago Forte class, the current course that I'm working on for GMSC, the podcast, which is a perpetual project, but it's currently a project for a specific reason. Uh, this is also work. These two are travel things, a work side project, not my main work, but a fun thing I'm part of. My creative incubator, a video that I want to make, and also for work. So lots of fun. Like I said, I've only been using Para for about six months. So yeah, these are my current projects. I'm not sure what Tiago says about travel, but I mean, they are a project. This is, these are both art classes. So it's actually quite cool. And I mean, I could organize these, but I do not. The point of projects is to go in and to work on them, right? So that's what I do. Areas. So areas are split into... Apparently the year just gets random placement over there. But yeah, work, creative, and self. And I feel like that's the way my life has been organized for the past 20 years. And that's how it's going to stay. I'm pretty sure Tiago also says you don't need to hierarchy this out. But I really like hierarchies. I am, that's my jam. That is why I like Notion over Evernote. Because they can you can just go deeper and deeper and deeper. And I think I can show you. Let me try and not add any secret information but work is split into business internal external and side projects so once that project the sketchbook revival project is done it will go into there because it's not part of my main business but it is there business is also split into yeah pretty much finances and brand reference and all those fun things internal would be tech ideas content all the stuff for the members Whoops. External goes into, yeah, marketing, blog, email, stuff like that. And then the side projects. I like keeping, I'm not like a big fan of all different icons and stuff. I like to keep things the same color. So, you know, they're all the business things. Um, I When I did scan in all my moleskins, they got a little moleskin icon. But other than that, it's pretty boring iconature because I don't use it for that reason right now let's talk about something that makes me less work and more artist under the creative area they have future projects and video <laughs> not not a lot but here we go future projects I have my youtube ideas home ideas incomplete projects and ideas for projects incomplete projects I one day just made a list of all the stuff that was incomplete and I finished a bunch and then the rest I put into here and you can see this one has its own page. These are just bullet points and there are some screenshots. What else can I show you? I can show you ideas project. One idea. I usually act on my ideas. So this is not a place for storing things. This is a place for processing. And the self, I've got my travel stuff, which I'm kind of impressed with. I've got the template, ideas, archive, archive to trip. So let's open these two up. Here are nice ideas. Some bullet points, some long ass ideas, I think. This one. Oh yeah, this is a ridiculous thing where I scanned this image in and then I Googled every single place on here. But that's not important to today. <laughs> These are all the trips I've taken that I've put in here. Let me give you an example. This is a, these pictures are always a picture from Wiki Travel. Get a little map there, anything important, where I stayed, date, itinerary dates, and ideas. I don't update this once I've gone on it. I don't try and make this any kind of special for future trips. I do, however, I think I've got one for Berlin ideas, maybe, possibly. Can't find it now, obviously not that important. Right, so that's my travel. Then, and now this part is a hard favorite. These are my resources. 
I have something called catalysts, which rocks my world. And that is every time I want to create something or I'm on a particular path, I will go into into here and I'll create a page and a gallery page. So this was just titled March. (laughs) And you can see there's kind of a common thread, which I like about when I go into these things. I was really enjoying collage and women and these graphics. So you can see this is an Instagram screenshot from Kat Olog. <laughs> uh, these are Pinterest images, you know, so some of them are just the image with the very clever Pinterest name. Uh, the point of this is to be a graphical catalyst, right? Things like that. And they're all just added into here. Let me show you another example. This has a theme, art journal. (laughs) And I just, you know, paste ideas that I want to try. So again, some of these are Instagram screenshots. A lot of them are from Pinterest. And these are photos from when I went to the sketchbook library. Then I want to try something like this. And I don't write anything because for me that's not important. But looking at it, obviously I can tell what I wanted to try. Another thing is that... Sometimes inspiration might speak to us in a different way. So, you know, maybe I took this because, I don't know, I wanted to paint clouds. Now I'm looking at it and I want to make these layers. And I maybe want to explore birds. No, never want to explore birds. But you know what I mean. So I put these all there. This is an image from my friend. Oh, and this, I was actually in, in person and took a picture of it. So, yeah different ways of of storing this project ideas now these ones are each the each pages because they're an actual project this was a guy i think he's married to adam jk and his instagram used to be called just the tip and he used to post just the tip of things i loved it i want to do i mean that's well i like taking photos like that (laughs) words and quotes now this came from my evernote so it's a bit of a mess but basically just words that I found that I've liked and sometimes if I don't have anything to put in my commonplace book or if I want to add lettering into my art journal I'll just scroll through here and see it and you can see there are pictures of books that I'm currently reading or is these dodgy pictures of the book Uh, this is from slack this is you know reddit this is instagram all over books instagram comments captions then i have a swap file which is pretty much all of what these are and i think that adam no or Leon came up with this not too sure but i can already see i think since putting this in they took away the ability to change that you can also change to large small whatever and there's just a whole bunch of ideas. Oh, this came from my Evernote. So that's there. So this is actually an image that I took in real life. So <laughs> hilariously printed out pictures that were inspiration, put them in. And this is a book, Sabrina Ward Harrison. I can see this did not manage to copy itself. All right, and let's go into collage a whole bunch of images from a collage artist that i absolutely adore you can see there are also things that are not collage like this great picture which serves no other purpose than to remind me that i really want to take a picture like that one day (laughs) or like this or it's also just nice to look at oh and you can see here i wrote i wrote something there So these are my catalysts. Another really cool thing that I do in Ocean, and I just remembered it's in areas, is I keep an archive of things. So let's go into my little plot family. I have not all of my plants, but some of my plants in here. You can see the baby ones in here too. And I don't know, I took, a, I took a picture of them and then I just wrote a bit more about them. So I'm still learning their Latin, is Latin names. And so 
And that's why they don't have any cute names. But that goes there. Some pictures of them. Over time, pictures of their growth will go here. A little bit about how much sun they need, how much water, what their weaknesses are. Now, this is not an extensive list. And this is added to as I discover more about them. But you can see them over there. I have got for some of the plants, I have more than one of. Let me just find, I think, my pepper pepperoni see i'm going great with learning what the names are pillia 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 anyway there are a whole bunch of the different ones there so you can s and there's still another one sorry you can see i'm still not quite sure if i'm going to make one for each of them but that it doesn't matter other nice thing is i've got my cookbooks now i'm completely extra and i took a photo of each of these because I'm pedantic and I like it to all look the same. As you can see, can't find a picture of Jamie Oliver number two, which irritates me. And I swear if it wasn't one in a series of six, I would just throw it away so that I could delete this and not think about it. But one day I'll take the photo or one day not, but probably one day. And also like it because then you can see like it's got a picture of this where I burnt the cover, you know, so it's a special, it's special to me. Let me share an example. Another thing I do, and then inside here is I've got the list of all my favorite recipes. When I still had Evernote, I would take this list and I would type it out as well, and then I could search for it. But now I'm just lazy. I have favorite recipes here, so they can be very well photographed pictures of my aunt's scones. My aunt's did send this to me. Apparently I can read that. Or a WhatsApp message of her salad dressing. All these kinds of things. And there's some more images. In my archive, I'm not going to speak too much about it because it's boring. But it's got very clearly past work things and past self things. Let's go my dashboard for 2018, which you might enjoy. And this is how I did it back then. I would actually keep my goals, my current projects and any events there also have a little picture of the calendar next three months my week it was it was quite elaborate but I did not I did not use it that much and so I left it and I just stuck to my good old moleskin for my weekly planning and things like that oh one last thing that's pretty cool is this 2020 weekly happiness list and now this is like the only one that has an emoji as the icon. That's my son, my homeboy, my actual homeboy. <laughs> and um, I've got this quote by Chuck Polinick. I'm not, I'm not that into quotes, but I think I actually might be. Anyway, Chuck Polinick says everything that I love. And so he went into here. And this is basically why I keep a happiness list is I keep a list of things to make me happy just just because I am prone to depression and being grateful and being happy about things helps keep it at bay other great thing is I get my husband to write them so I keep the photos I do that kind of memory keeping um, I also used to scrapbook but yeah now we have a, a weekly happiness list and then I pair it with a photo I'm not going to show you the list but some, if you want to do this it would be really cool if you made sure that your items were as small as possible. So instead of saying, got a job, it's new office has blue floors in the bathroom, which mine does, by the way. So that, that's a great thing to be happy for. And when you look for the smaller things, you get more grateful and life becomes even better. So you should do that. Right. So that's my dashboard, that's my notion, that's how you use it as an artist, always with the intent to make more art out of it and, and create more. I did not show you my work thing and that's where the majority of my notion is, but that's a little, a little less creative and more business work, 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 work. I hope you enjoyed this tour, hope it gives you some ideas for yourself and yeah, I'm very big into interaction. So any ideas you had, put them into action.